Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Thank you for coming in. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Thank you for coming in today. Uh, today is going to be a... Well, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so stay, so stay uh, notified with us so we can stay notified with you all right so um anyway let's jump straight off into t -t the tutorial i always mess up on that word for some reason i guess i'll be trying to rush through it but anyway uh today is going to be a short tutorial uh it's over <clears throat> getting your last um, eight dcas to show up on your behringer wing console i've heard a lot of people trying to figure out how to get those last eight channels to show up so this is going to be a quick uh, deal on how you can get those to show up so let's jump into it all right guys so um as you know normally it shows up with the first eight uh dcas and you're not able to tab over all right so what you're going to do is you're just going to hold your view button down until that screen pops up and you're going to go over to your dcas And you're gonna tab over to your next 16 where it says 9 through 16 right here all right and you can what you can do you can just select push all these and just drag down that one and all of them will fall in place. And now you can see your DCAs are there. So now all 16 DCAs show up on your console. All right, so we're back. Thank you for watching the video. I told you it was gonna be real short and sweet and to the point. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please hit that subscribe button. Again, this has been Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Hit that little bell. Come back again for the next video. Talk to you in a minute. Peace.